Okay, the last video cut off right here when I was setting my derivative equal to zero. So I'm going ahead and continue off on this part of the lecture, or I'm sorry, of the examples. So before I continue, I want to talk about um, something. So we know that a slope is zero when, um, when you have a horizontal tangent. When you have a vertical tangent, that means that the derivative or the slope is undefined. Okay, so when you have a fraction, what that, what that means is that if the numerator equals zero, that's going to be to find horizontal tangent lines. And if I've set my denominator equal to zero, that is going to tell me when the fraction is undefined. So that's going to be to, to find um, vertical tangent lines. Now here, since I'm trying to figure out where there's a horizontal tangent line, I'm only going to worry about my numerator, negative 9. But negative 9 can never equal 0, which means that I'm not going to get any solutions from that, which also means that there are no horizontal tangent lines. Okay. And since the problem did not ask me about vertical tangent lines, I will not be setting my denominator equal to zero. However, if you do get problems in your homework that ask you about both horizontal and vertical tangent lines, just understand that once your, your derivative is in its fraction form, to find the horizontal tangent lines, you set the numerator equal to zero and find those x values. And then to get the vertical tangent lines, you set the denominator equal to zero and you find those tangent lines.